Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. We are in late November here at Kerr Lake in Virginia. We've got temperatures starting out this morning in the mid 30s, so it's a little bit chilly, but we have no wind. We've got a great guest in store, longtime guide Keith Ray is going to join us and talk about his favorite early winter techniques. So you stay tuned, we'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country, right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. We are at Kerr Lake here in Virginia with Keith Rain. Keith, how are we doing today, bud? Doing great, Russ. Glad I'll tell to be you, here. One of the things I noticed right off the bat they draw this lake down for the winter, don't they? Oh yes, this is a flood control reservoir, I'm expecting a flood next spring. I hope we don't get one like we had last fall. I think that went all over the country, even up north we had ours in Ohio. So. Oh yes. Uh, can you explain to the folks what we're gonna try to do today? Uh, we'll be fishing brush piles. We've got about 500 brush piles down here in this lake. And most of it's casting and jigging, throwing the jig out, counting it down, retrieving it across the top of the brush. Okay. Hoping they're hungry enough to come get it. What kind of water depth are we gonna concentrate on? Uh, mostly the brush piles that come up to 10 to 15 foot have been the best lately. Okay, you ready to get started? I'm ready. Kerr Lake, Virginia, here we go, folks. And with that, folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. We are at Kerr Lake. That was the second cast of the morning. Not a hog, but about a 10 inch fish. Throwing mid-south tubes, going back to the basics this morning. And Keith, that didn't take long, buddy. It seldom does on this pond. All right, we'll let him get a little bit bigger. And he thumped the fire out of it, folks. Just getting started this morning, folks. Keith, can you explain to the folks what we're doing? Uh, we've got brush piles planted out here in about 20 foot of water, come up to about eight to 10 foot. We're casting jigs, counting them down, swimming them across the top of it. I'm throwing a 332nd ounce head. It sinks about one foot a second on four pound test line. So you count down to about eight, swim it back real slow right across the brush. There's another hit. I got changed colors. They ain't hitting that one like they're hitting <laughs> this one. You know, folks, you don't hear a lot about casting anymore. And uh, it's, it's a technique that's, that's awfully fun, especially when the fish are aggressive. And we've had a few this morning. Man, when they hit it, it's like right now. And we're just, like Keith said, just doing a steady retrieve, dropping that baby down. And when they hit it, you know. Folks, I'm using the uh, 1 16th ounce Rockport Rattler jig head. And then just the, getting back to the basics with the good old Mid-South tubes. This is the first brush pile we've come up to this morning, folks. Had three good hits, caught one fish, missed a couple, and there's another Got one. another. He's just a little fella. But he's mad about that jig in his face. <laughs> White crappy. Did you catch both here predominantly, or is there one more predominant? Uh, a, about 50-50 now. When I first started fishing back in the 80s, it was 90% black. But okay. in the last 50 years, it's come up to uh, about 50-50. There he is. That one there, folks, I let it drop. and just started to reel and let it drop real quick. And on that drop, he thumped it. And the reason I did that, because the last fish hit it when I was letting it lower. Another little black crappie. Keith, do you guys have black nose here? Yes, very few yeah. though. Okay. I can catch like three or four a year. Okay. And again, folks, we're catching about every size today. 
from little small ones to these to some good keepers. Keith, how long you been guiding on this lake? Been guiding for 14 years now since I retired. I was lucky enough to get to retire at 57. And my wife actually talked me into guiding. I've been fishing down here for 50 years. There you. you got? A little better? And uh, I was, yes, a little butter fish. Oh yeah. Oh, nice crappie. Sound like a bass wave walling around up there. Jump up in here, young fella. Good eater right there. Yes, indeed. Another Bugs Island slab. Don't go away. More brush pile fishing action is on the way. War Eagle Boats, the most versatile line of hunting and fishing aluminum boats available. We strive to overcome real hunting and fishing obstacles, which drives us to create better products in the future. Check out the Blackhawk 2170, the ultimate crappie fishing boat. Built on a 22 degree V-Haul and paired with a 150 horsepower motor, you get lots of space and performance. All War Eagle boats are built to suit the needs of our customers, guaranteeing you a boat worthy of the investment. Visit WarEagleBoats.com to get your started today. B&M Poles. That's a three pound crappie. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Got it. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, B&M has your pole. My signature series rod. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. B&M Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here for Brush Pile Fishing. We are here in Kentucky at Cornfield Crappie with Mark Riddle. Mark, how are we doing? Good, Russ. How are you? I'll tell you what, you just rigged our boat. Absolutely great products you have. Can you tell the folks about all you have to offer? We got our monitor mounts. We got a new bridge. The thing we've done the most with has been the cable saver. We've actually sold them worldwide. We got them out to put the live scope on the trolling motor. There you have it, folks. Cornfield Crappie. If you want the boat that looks good, Cornfield Crappie. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. B&M Poles, over 70 years of quality and performance. War Eagle, built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slime Line, catch the fever. Crappie Magnet, sore lip them all. Keith, what kind of limits do they have here? This is the first year they've had a limit on this lake. They put a limit on Jan in January, 25 per person, nine inches long. And they never had one till this never year? Never had one this year. Wow. Now what's your big fish personal on this lake? Three pound, 12 ounce. That's a good one. That's Caught a good seven one. in the last 35 years. There we go. Over three pounds. No kidding. The first in 1980 actually appeared in, in Fishman Magazine topless. I had didn't have a shirt on holding up an 18-inch oh, crappie. Keith, stop right there. That's the only topless <laughs> picture I've ever seen in that magazine. <laughs> but I, I, I was 30 years old and well built then, so okay. I, I was proud of my physique. Again, folks, we're just doing a steady retrieve, casting out, bringing it back. You don't think they're hitting that thing hard? Look at that. They swallow, eat it, wow. don't they? Got him? Got it. Yes, sir. Another little guy. Getting all different sizes this morning. Oh, it's a variety. It's, it's like got a very well po balanced population. But I did see more. This last spring, we had uh, probably a dozen weighed in at Bobcats over three pounds. Most of the time you have two or three a year. This year we had a dozen. That's what I told the people in March when they were weighing in all them three pounders. Yeah. After they put that limit on in January, I said, see, the limit's already working. Yep. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> now this water's pretty darn clear. Is this how it stays most of the time if you don't have heavy rains? No, it don't stay. This is uh, clear as it's been probably this year. Yeah. Keith, do you guys normally freeze over in the winter or does it stay open? Uh, part of the lake will freeze over about every winter, but it'd be the sh uh, shallower upper end. Okay. Most of the lake uh, seldom freezes. So you're guiding year round then? Oh yes, I take people out every week. I've been wanting to fish this lake for years and have just never had the opportunity, so. There we go. So hit, his mouth didn't you, Russ? Hit it right on the drop. Might not be a bad one if it's a crappie. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, big boy. I was still letting that one drop when he hit. Black crapper. I'll keep a hole yeah. warm for you. Thank you, sir. Second brush pilot. Early winter, late fall, I guess you could call it. Crappie fishing here on Kerr Lake, and it is good, folks. Good. It's actually getting pretty nice out here right now. Well, actually, when it gets calm like this, it makes it hard to catch fish. Uh, they can get really finicky. That dappled look on the back of a crappie's back makes him disappear when the wind blows and you get that dappled look on the water. That's his camouflage. If he ain't camouflaged, he don't feel like he can sneak up on stuff. And that snuck, that snuck up on that. Oh, that's a nice fish. Little jig, huh? First cast on brush pile number two. A Bugs Island slab. Oh yeah, this is called Bugs Island in Virginia. Is that what they call it? Yeah, it, it's a big, it's a big controversy when the lake first got built. Stay right there. More brush pile fishing is next. Folks, I hope you're enjoying today's show, casting uh, jigs for crappie here on Kerr Lake. But right now I want to just say, uh, if you get a chance, go to our Facebook page, Brush Pile Fishing, hit like and share. And if you want to see some of our older episodes, we've got a YouTube channel or our website, which is brushpilefishing.com. All the equipment we use on the shows there. So check us out. But again, make sure to hit like and share for us. Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to. Missed brush pile fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other pursuit channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today. The new home for your fishing needs is boneheadtackle.com. Get all the latest product information. Shop our new and improved tackle shop. We have baits for crappie, bass, striper, sand bass, saltwater and terminal tackle, bait styles and slim stick, stump bugs, brush gliders and bulk jig heads available. Check out our superior mono line, crankbaits for bass, and our top of the line carbon fiber fishing rods. Bonehead Tackle, family owned business with one goal in mind. Make fishing more fun and help all anglers catch more fish. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray haze. This patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. Look, if you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these amazing companies. Grand Lake St. Mary's, Crappie USA, NKT.TV, Rockport Rattler, Mid-South Tackle, Cornfield Crappie, Bonehead Tackle. Again, folks, if you just joined us, we're here at Kerr Lake, or Bugs Island, as they refer to it. Casting jigs, kind of a lost art in crappie fishing. You know, folks, you hear me talk a lot when I'm dock shooting about this line. I'm using four pound slime line, the high vis. And in dock shooting, you've heard me say several times, you'll see that line jump before you feel it. Today, these fish, when they hit it, buddy, they are absolutely thumping it. You see it jump and you feel it simultaneous. Yep. yep. As far as Water temperature, folks, we're looking at about 54 to 55. 55 degrees. He come back and get yes, it. Yes, he did. <laughs> They're liking it when it drops. Last three in a row. 
Well, I messed up. I put on a heavier jig here. I've got a 1 16th. Yeah, huh? I put the eighth ounce on it. Uh, I ain't got one on the drop yet on it. So they want that little slower drop. Yep. Yep. Now, Keith, I made one little color change. I've stayed with the same color tube, but I went with just a little darker. That lime head. green head. Yep. Just to break it up a little bit. I went with a heavier chartreuse head. You made the better choice. Uh, Obviously. You just popped one too. Again. Catfish or bird head off that one. <laughs> you can tell you guys have had several good spawns because we're catching several different sizes. Well, that's, that's, that's a good thing about this uh, what you got lake there, in the spring. I got, uh -huh. one, I got one bigger than the go. last one I caught. They hold this lake up in the bushes in the spring, usually for uh, to the end of May, so the fish can get back in there and spawn. And we have some tremendous spawns. Man, every brush pile we come up to, there's another good keeper. Come here. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Right up to the top part of mouth, that's where you want it, folks. Another good keeper fish. All right now, Keith, just kind of keeping numbers on what we've caught today. You got another one? Using a button, it's a digital fish counter. It's completely waterproof, too. So, Race is safe. yeah, it's pretty neat, man. Right there, folks, completely waterproof. It doesn't rust like some of them do. <laughs> and keeping tabs on what we've got. Throw her back in there. Right here what at the boat. Got, Keith? Man, that was close, wasn't he? Yeah. He's going to follow me home. I think it's another keeper. Say, Mama, look what followed me home. Can I keep him? Yes, sir. And folks, we have to leave as soon as this trip's over. Keith gets a home, go home and have a fish fry. That's it. That last fish, you was, you were real close to the boat. I believe he was just hiding under the boat. <laughs> Darted out to get it before I took it out of the water. There we go. Another one close to the boat. Man, there's another nice black crappie. Look at there. Deadly combination today, the Rockport and the Mid-South. Another good keeper. You're gonna have a pretty good fish fry. Right at the boat again. I might, you might be in there, keeper. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that, folks. That's a dandy there. And that's a good, good Kerr Lake special. Mm. And we caught mainly blacks today. Oh, yes. You said that one. For great fishing, check out Grand Lake St. Mary's, located in West Central Ohio. If you're looking to land bass, catfish, crappie, perch, or bluegill, Grand Lake is the place for you. Check out greatergrandlakeregion.com. want to introduce that the new brush pile fishing store carries all the gear that i use in the brush pile fishing show just go to www.brushpilefishing.com and check out the crappie shop and find jigs apparel line nets bnm poles and so much more in the sale and clearance sections you'll find deep discounts on the gear that will help you put more fish in your boat that's brushpilefishing.com Keith, we've 
not even ventured away from the boat ramp today, but how many acres does this lake have? It's 49,000 acres at normal pool. 800 miles of shoreline, about 35 miles long. And folks, just let me tell you, if you want to hire Keith for a, a guide trip, you're going to get some good free entertainment out of it too. <laughs> <laughs>
buoy retriever, press the drill, and wind that sucker up. Isn't nothing flat out of 30 foot of water. I believe I got your line. Okay, I was wondering. Our jigs are made. <laughs> Partners for life. Yes. We've got two eagles, folks, up on them big power lines. And that is cool. We're pretty darn close to them, too. I think they're waiting for us to feed them. Oh, yeah. For more brush pile fishing excitement, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.